This is my Arno Bernard Knives Imamba that I picked up at the most recent CKG USN gathering, actually. The first I've been to in about five years, so it was great seeing some old faces, some old friends, and obviously met some new people who, because, I mean, it's been years and there's a lot of new folks in the hobby compared to when, you know, I was in it more so 10 plus years ago. The Imamba, Desert Ironwood, RWL34, titanium handles, and if I'm not mistaken, uh, ball bearing skiff, skiff ball bearings, but I could be wrong on that. Comes with a, a little Frank Hank, very nice handkerchief. And here is the knife. Sandblasted titanium, desert ironwood inlays, which I'm a, I'm a sucker for wood inlays. You've got that RWL34 blade, satin finish. I gotta give it a wipe down again. And um, looks like a milled pocket clip. I'm usually more of a stamped pocket clip guy, but uh, this feels like a nice in between. It has a steel lock insert but I don't feel any lock slip on this. Um, so, so far I'm, I'm pretty impressed with what this is. In fact, I wouldn't have been if I, I didn't handle it. When I walked by the Thunderbird uh, gear kind of booth at the, at the get together, I finally held on to a few of these and my eyes immediately darted to this uh, Desert Ironwood uh, version. They had a plain one, which was you know nice and a couple other inlays, but give me a nice dark wood inlay and uh, I'm probably gonna spend some money Size comparison, um, it's definitely a bit smaller than your large Sebenzas or your Omnumzans, but proportionally, like in terms of blade width, etc., handle width, I, I think it's closer to the largest anyway than the small, so it makes sense to compare to this. Um, it has a very kind of lot of blade to handle ratio. Like as an example, the Strider, you don't get you get like a you know a three inch cutting edge for a longer handle, which means when you're wearing gloved hands, it's you get a lot of leverage. Even hingers are the same. Chris Reeves are a little bit more handle typically, but uh, this one I feel packs a lot of cutting edge. It's like only 0.1 or so inch less cutting edge than the uh, Chris Reeves. The closest proportion you know comparison I can do is the uh, Benchmade 940. In fact, I see it's very similar in terms of, you know, your handle to blade ratio. So if you've handled one of these, you'll have a sense. Just expect it to be a little broader and understandably a little heavier. I mean, yeah, yes, when I went to the get together, I saw a lot of bakers and a lot of manufacturers that I'm not familiar with because I'm, I'm really out of touch with what's sort of in vogue and in production right now. But I've been eyeing these for a while, so it was nice to finally get my hands on one and, uh, you know, I'm probably a little bit outdated in terms of what's uh, kind of what's what's in right now, but I know what I like, and I like these since I only buy one or two knives a year. It's got to be something you really like.